Hello everyone, my name is Maximilian and in this video I'm going to show you a brand new method how you can reduce the no-show rates to your meetings by up to 50% using AI phone calls. So first of all, where does this uh, very high number come from? I didn't just make it up, I found it here. So this is a study from the University of Oxford and in this study they've been able to reduce outpatient no-show rates by up to 50% by simply calling people before their assignments. So that's already quite interesting. Then I looked further and found this those webinar statistics from 2024 where this is very interesting. The average attendance rate for a webinar is between 20 to 40 percent. So this is very low so we can see that people tend to sign up for webinars but then just decide not to actually attend the webinar. Um, yeah, so if we're able to reduce this no-show rate of 80% by 50%, this means that this means that much, much more people, far more people are than going to attend the webinar. And if we're able to achieve this, then those would be some crazy results and it could potentially increase revenue quite drastically. But of course, we don't want to call people manually like the Oxford researchers. Um, we're an automation agency, so we are using AI phone callers. In my case, I'm using Vapi now. So yeah, I've built a system like this and I think it's best if I just show you how it works now. Yeah, so we start with this form and uh, then after filling out this form, I'm imme immediately going to receive a phone call from an AI assistant reminding me of the webinar. Now, this is only for demonstration purposes. If you would actually use the system for a real company, you would set it up in a way that the calls are made much later, like a couple of hours after form submission, or even better, four hours or eight hours before the webinar takes place. Yeah, but now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to receive the call right after submitting this form. So yeah, let's take a look. Webinar by Shape Booster, um, and it takes place on April 18th at 6 p.m. Yeah, okay, so we're going to put in the name, then I put in my email address, then my phone number, of course, and then it asks me what my, prof my what my personal fitness goals are. And I did this so that the assistant can talk with me about my personal fitness goals and use those goals in order to motivate me to attend the webinar because otherwise the conversation would be a bit boring and a bit uh, yeah, basic. So yeah, here, let's say I want to get a six pack because I want to look good in summer. That's what I'm going to tell it later. All right, then submit. And now let's see what happens. This looks good. Okay, my phone is ringing. Let's see. Hello, this is Andrew from Shape Booster. Am I speaking to Maximilian? Hey, yes, this is Maximilian. Great. Maximilian, I see that you've registered for our upcoming fitness webinar. I also noticed that your personal fitness goal is to get a six pack. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. That's, fan that's fantastic, Maximilian. Having a goal like that is amazing. What motivates you to achieve this goal? Mm, I mainly want to look good, especially in summer. That's a great motivation. Maximilian, wanting to look good and feel confident is something we can all relate to. Do you have a specific plan in mind to reach this goal? Uh, no, not yet. In that case, Maximilian, I highly recommend attending the webinar. We have some amazing information that will help you create a plan to achieve your goal. The webinar is today at 6 p.m. and I hope to see you there. Nice, yeah. I'll attend. See you there. Great. See you at the webinar. Bye. All right. So that was the conversation. Yeah, I think it was quite good. So it asked me for my motivation. We had a conversation. It told me why I should attend the webinar. Um, yeah, so that's very interesting. So now I'm going to show you how I build it, of course. Um, yeah, and now actually first I'm going to show you this Google Sheet. That's quite interesting. So here in this uh, sheet I have form submissions. So this is what I submitted in uh, jot form. That's quite basic. But this one is interesting. So here mm, 
I set it up in a way that when the call ends, VAP sends an end of call report to a webhook that I defined. And then it all gets thrown into this Google Sheet. So now here we have a timestamp. Here we have the phone number that was called. Now this is really cool. Here we have the entire transcript. So this is the entire conversation that I just had with the assistant. Yeah, we can write everything. It ends with great, see you in the webinar, bye, and so on. It even, like VAP even produces a summary itself. So here, I can read the summary in this conversation. Andrew in initiates a call with Max to discuss. Blah, blah. Andrew asks Max about his motivation, which is to look good, particularly in the summer. Yeah, and so on. So that's the summary. And this one's also amazing. Here we even get a recording URL. So I click on the URL and it downloads this WAF file. And now we can listen to it. That's really cool. So we can listen to the entire conversation again. Um, now here we have ended reason. This is the reason why the call ended. In this case, the assistant ended the call. And if I would have ended the call myself, then it would say user ended call or something similar. Yeah, so this is important because if every single call is user ended, then you might want to check if there's something gone wrong. Um, yeah. And now here, additional information. This is something I set up myself to make a CRM entry to find out what my motivation is. And I'm going to show you in a second how this works. So in order to achieve all of this, I created two make workflows. So this is the first one. They're actually both quite simple. This one just uh, watches jot form for submissions, then writes those submissions in the Google Sheet. Then here it sleeps for one second because uh, I just want to demonstrate that it works so the call is made directly. But usually the way you would want to set it up is that you create a different workflow that initiates all calls, like calls for all columns in this Google Sheets that have been made so far, four hours maybe or eight hours before the webinar. Yeah, so this would be a bit better, but this is for demonstration purposes. And then with this HTTP request, we're initiating the VAPI phone call. So in here we define the first message, the name, the phone number, the personal goal in this case, which is get a six pack. This comes from this job form submission and many other things. This is quite a, quite a, an interesting part. Then after the call, I configured it in a way that it sends the end of call report to this webhook. Then it's all written into a Google Sheet. Um, so as you just saw, phone number, transcript, summary, recording URL, and ended reason. And then I want to make this CRM entry or the like potential CRM entry. Therefore, I ask GPT 3.5. Um, that is, I tell it it's, it will be given the transcript. And from the transcript, it's supposed to find out what my motivate, what the user's motivation to reach the goal is. Now, in this case, I was a user. I said, I want to look good, particularly in summer. Yeah, and it's so then it's given the transcript and it's supposed to find this out. And that's what it did. Then it writes it into Google Sheets. Let's take a look at it again. This is what the entry looks like. Um, goal, achieving six pack, motivation, wanting to look good, especially in summer. Yeah, of course, it could be changed with a different format or something and it could then be sent into a CRM or whatever. Um, yes, so that's the system I created with VAPI. I hope uh, you like the system. Now, if you want me, if you want me to explain it a bit more, so for example, explain this HTTP request a bit more, then feel free to write a comment. I might do the next video on only how to make this HTTP request because it's quite a big step. Or I can also just explain to you quickly if you like. And also if you're a business and you want to experiment with a system like this or maybe implement a system like this, then also feel free to contact me. All right, so yeah, I hope you found it interesting and see you in the next video.